Hi, welcome to our follow-up activities for our life groups. Ruth took us on a whistle-stop tour of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, but she didn't actually get to Revelation. I think she forgot under time pressure. Normally when she gives a talk like that, she ends with Revelation 21 and 22. In fact, we did discuss that in the training course in the Q&A. So here is the first activity for our groups, something to discuss. How does that story end? How does Revelation 21 and 22 fit in with the big picture of reconciliation through Christ? And particularly, how does it fit in with the picture of reconciliation between humans and the natural world? You can pause the video now while you discuss and then restart when you're ready for the next activity. If we believe that God has called us to care for his world, then probably our starting point shouldn't be to rush into action, but rather to pray. So our next activity is going to take a few minutes to pray together. Now we may have all have our own concerns about specific aspects of our climate and environmental situation, and we can pray for those things. But there is a particular situation coming up that we can pray about now together and in the coming weeks. From November 1st to 12th, world leaders will be meeting in Glasgow at the COP26 Climate Conference. COP is a series of uh, annual UN conferences where world leaders try to make decisions together about how we will face climate change. And we, we hear a lot about the Paris Accord, for example, where they agreed to limit temperature rise to 1.5 degrees C above pre-industrial temperatures. And that was the Paris COP in 2015. Now, the recent IPCC scientific climate report gave us very little time to avoid the worst of climate change. So this year's COP conference is particularly significant. And it's being hosted by the UK, which gives us particular opportunities and responsibilities. Now, we may not all agree on exactly what the outcomes of this conference should be. But 1 Timothy 2 tells us to pray for kings and all those in authority so that we can live peaceful and godly lives. So we can all pray that God will give wisdom to world leaders. Pray for a willingness to act for the good of the whole world and not just short-term national interests. We can pray for good, practical, realistic agreements that will actually be followed up. And we can also pray for the president of COP26, Alok Sharma, who is a member of the government. He was previously the business secretary. Since becoming COP president, he's become a strong voice, calling to take uh, climate change issues seriously and calling for strong international actions. His leadership of the conference is really important, so let's pray for him. So please pause the video now to take a few minutes to pray for COP and other related issues and then finally come back to hear news of other ways we can be responding. This year the UK is hosting two major political conferences. The G7 was in Cornwall in June and COP will be in Glasgow in November. Between these two conferences the Young Christian Climate Network has organised a relay walk from Cornwall to G7, in, in, sorry, from Cornwall to Glasgow, to, to raise awareness of climate issues. And they'll be taking with them a large replica boat, which symbolises the fact that we're all in the same boat together when it comes to climate change, finally. The walk will come through Leeds on the 17th and 18th of September, and local Christians are organising three ways we can engage with this. First, there'll be a prayer meeting in Millennium Square on Friday the 17th of September at 4.30pm. That's how we start with prayer. Second, Christian Aid has a na national initiative to make small origami boats with messages for the COP26 leaders. And these will be presented at the conference. Christians in Leeds are being asked to contribute to this by making as many small origami boats with messages as possible 
and these will be collected together at St Mark's and presented to local political leaders on October 8th before being sent to Glasgow. And finally, it's possible to join the relay walkers as they leave Leeds on September 18th uh, to start on the next leg of their relay. So these are three ways in which we can work with other Christians in the immediate context, coming up to COP, to express our concern for the climate and to express our hope in God, our distinctive hope we have as believers in Christ. There'll be more details about all these things in the bulletin if you want to join in. So that's the end of our session tonight. I hope you had a good evening together. God bless you.